Hello everyone, my name is Layla. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming at you with my January wrap up. It is a little bit early and I may have another book finished by the time this video is out, but better safe than sorry and I'd rather not have it be late. So today is January 26th and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So I did start my second to last semester of college. I am a senior and so I am back in class and so that has stunted my reading a little bit and also like with uh, some slight mood fluctuations I have also gotten me into more reading and then less at the same time we don't really know how that works but in any case I did not read that many books this January but I kind of wanted to normalize reading a normal amount of books or not reading the most amount of books all the time because all readers are readers whether you read one book a month or 12 books a month or 12 books a day everybody's a reader and I just want to be here to share about the books I read and so that is very well what I'm going to do so the first book I finished this year not just this January but this year was The Heart Principle by Helen Huang this is the third book in the Kiss Quotient series I don't know if it's actually called the kiss quotient series but for the purposes of this video that's what I'm gonna call it so first we had the kiss quotient which I absolutely love that is five stars and then we have the bride test which I thought was only a three-star book and now we have the heart principle and this is about a woman who recently got kind of forcibly put into like an open relationship kind of thing and she is dealing with some mental health difficulties that she's trying to get through and then Quan, who we know from the first two books and he is getting over a recent illness i don't want to give too much because that's a big part of the book and i don't know if that's in the synopsis but then they find each other through a dating app and it is about their romance and it also does focus a lot on the mental health aspect and there is always an autistic main character in every one of helen Hahn books that I've read and I love that so much. I love the representation and I love how each character with autism is different and they show different signs of autism and some things they do deal with because of their autism and some things they don't depending on the character and I always love that. And the romances are so cute. The way Helen Huang writes men, borderline unmatched. And oh, oh, I love this so much. I love Quan so much, and I loved how soft and careful he was with her. And I love how they both had to work on things within themselves. And a lot of towards the ending of the book was about the mental health and less about the romance. I'd say maybe the last 30 pages or so. And that was also nice. And I'm somewhere between a four and a five star for this book, and I still haven't decided, but. Yeah, those are my thoughts on The Heart Principle. The next two books I read in January were in my <laughs> most recent vlog, which is reading as a coping mechanism because your girl was going through it. And the next one I read was Everything is Okay by Debbie Tung. If you don't know who Debbie Tung is, she wrote one of my favorite, no, my favorite graphic novel, which is Lonely Girl in a Noisy World. No, not Lonely Girl, Introverted Girl in a Noisy World. And I love that book so very much. It's five stars and I've read every other one of her comic books that I could get my hands on since then and this one everything is okay which is nice to read while I was sad because it was talking about her when she was going through her depression and anxiety and how she was able to get out of that and getting help and going to therapy and like the ups and downs that come with it and it didn't really shy away from anything while staying with this wholesome vibes that each one of her books have which I love very much and I did like this book but it did feel as though it was a little bit repetitive felt like kind of the same story was being told again and again like the same kind of message which is nice to know that everything will be okay but that is why I gave this book 3.5 I believe yes 3.5 stars and then the last book that I actually finished in January was Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney and this was a thriller because I really wanted to distract myself with the thriller and it was good like I was gripped I finished it relatively quickly I think it took like maybe two days for me to finish this book and it was about and basically it had three timelines in it so it had from when the main character was 11 it had now and it had when she's in a coma and basically the book starts off when the woman is like I'm in a coma and I know my husband had something to do with it and sometimes I lie and the ending I didn't really see coming I don't I wouldn't say it's like a humongous twist or anything but it was good and figuring out that third timeline when 
when she was like 11 how that all fit in together I was waiting the entire book for and figuring out how that did fit in together was really nice and so I really recommend that if you like thrillers and if you like dual timelines because this one has three and if you wanted to be really gripped by something now the last book that I'm working on right now that I am currently not finished with yet is actor age Eve Brown so I have read again this is a trilogy and it is about the Brown sisters each of them have their own romance and they're all mixed race romances or should I say they're all biracial romances the Brown sisters are all black plus size women which you gotta love I love that so much and I love just you know black women and plus size women just getting loved on and being told they're beautiful and it's just the best thing in the world to me so I read the Chloe Brown book first because I did no I didn't okay so I read Chloe Brown which is five stars to me and I read Eve Brown which was around three stars for me I didn't really find that one as interesting and I didn't really find that one as interesting but Chloe Brown I absolutely loved so much I was like oh and another thing I love about the Brown sisters is they're always described as like posh speaking like they're always sure of themselves and with being plus size I like that that's never mentioned in a bad way like their bodies are only ever described as beautiful and I just love that so much and they're always sure of themselves like they're not these are not insecure women love that <laughs> love that so much and so now we're getting to Eve Brown and Eve is a young sister it went from oldest to youngest and she's a bit of a hot mess and it's definitely an enemies to lovers romance but I'm really excited to see where that goes and yeah you're gonna have to wait until my next wrap up to see what I do wind up creating that book again this was a relatively short video because I did not read that much this month trying to get back into classes and everything hopefully I can read more next month but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it and I hope you guys can tell me down below what you guys have read this month and what you're planning on reading in February. I am also a life coach and so if you would like life coaching I'll have the email down below and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It I really appreciate it and it would really help my channel. All right I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!